If we want to analyze this phone and work out what it's made of, we need to grind it to very fine powder. Put these on, just to be safe, we're ready to go. This is our phone. This is what we got when we put that in the blender and I separated it into different fractions. There's some porous bits here, uh, some of the bits of plastic here. What we're interested in here today is actually this powder, the very fine powder. And that's what I've put in the crucibles and in the oven behind me. So let's see what we've got. I think that looks good. It's uh, nice and black and uh, dark and sort of a bit molten. But what's great about this stuff now is that we can take this to the lab and dissolve this very easily in some weak acids. And this solution, we can actually analyze the contents of all the, the metals and all the elements that are in here in a mass spectrometer here at the university. And then we, we have a result. We can know, we know what's in there in these phones and uh, we can actually work out how much of which element is in there and we can actually try and work out where they're coming from. There's a mobile phone sitting on a table. The phone hovers off the table as different parts of it separate. The, the parts break up into tiny particles and the particles reform into cubes of different elements. 33 grams of iron, 13 grams of silicon, 6 grams of copper, 2.5 grams of aluminium, 7 grams of chromium, 0.7 of a gram of tin, 2.7 grams of nickel. If we focus in on the rare earth elements, these form cubes much, much smaller than a 1p coin. Going down to indium, uh, dysprosium, germanium, all of which are only 2, two milligrams, uh, smaller than the size of a pinhead. There are 1,457 million smartphones made every year. We zoom out to a football pitch where there are cubes of the different metals showing how much of each element is required to make all these smartphones in a year. Three tonnes of dysprosium is about the size of a chair. 8,700 tonnes of copper is about the size of a large house. 48,100 tons of iron is about the size of a block of flats. All the metals are laid out on the, the football pitch to show how much is required every year to make the world's smartphones. 